demonstrations in solidarity with Palestine. I'm a member of the Gully branch of the Ireland Palestine Solidarity Campaign. And for nearly a hundred days, we, like many across the island of Ireland, have campaigned for the Irish government to take immediate action to stop Israel's unconscionable onslaught against the Palestinian people. While the Irish government has called for a ceasefire in Gaza, it has today failed to take concrete measures to stop the genocide. This week, Antisha Leo Gratzker refused for Ireland to join South Africa in its landmark case against Israel under the Genocide Convention at the International Court of Justice. He has not listened to the facts. There is clear evidence of genocide being committed against the Palestinian people. Demonstrations, petitions, open letters, huge rallies in towns and cities across this country all go to prove that his position does not represent the will of the Irish people. In early December, we launched an online petition to stop the genocide. It has gathered nearly 30,000 signatures and called on the Irish government to uphold its responsibilities as a state party to the Genocide Convention. And we are calling on the Irish government to stop the genocide, to comply with its legal duty to prevent genocide and to impose sanctions on Israel as well as call for sanctions at EU level. On 13th December, together with the IPSC, we delivered this petition to the Irish government and we submitted it to the Petitions Committee in the Dáil. Nearly a month later, we have still not received a response. Will the Irish government continue to ignore the demands from the public? The Stop the Genocide petition remains open for signatures on change.org and you can sign up by scanning the QR code which is also available on IPSC social media. You can also follow the Galway IPSC and the Kumbara Palestine Solidarity Group for updates. The mere risk of genocide imposes a legal obligation on states' parties to take action to prevent it. The Irish government must publicly support and intervene in favor of South Africa's application at the International Court of Justice. It must support South Africa's request for provisional measures to stop the genocide. We are calling on Ireland to immediately adopt trade sanctions and an arms embargo on Israel and to end the U.S. military use of Shannon Airport. Every minute the Israeli regime continues to commit massacres in Gaza and to displace, dispossess and fragment the Palestinian people as a whole. Our direct actions are needed now more than ever to achieve a permanent ceasefire in Gaza. But we can't and we won't stop until apartheid is dismantled and Palestine is free from the river to the sea. Thank you.